Hey everyone, today's video is about the One X Player Apex once again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little external SSD. This is the uh, Genki save point. Highly recommend checking it out. Uh, and I've got Bazite installed on this. We're gonna see what happens when I actually try to uh, boot it up with the One X Player Apex. Now, the uh, SSD here, like I have Bazite installed and I have it selected currently for One X Player. Like this is what I was using on my F1 Pro. And we're gonna see what happens. Like sometimes you may get some like audio issues. You might get different compatibility. Like I'm guessing the buttons aren't gonna be mapped as well, but we'll take a look to see uh, what exactly it looks like right now. And I can assume that once the Bazai team gets a hold of one of these, that uh, there's a high chance that we're going to get that compatibility for the buttons or audio or whatever else may be missing. So I'm gonna plug in the SSD into the USB-C slot at the top here. And now we need to enter the BIOS so that we can actually select the uh, proper boot order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the volume up button and the power button together. And we're gonna let that uh, power up here and it should bring us to the BIOS menu. So here is the BIOS menu. Now, I'm not gonna go into this today, but I know a lot of people are curious about it. So I'll just scan through it and you can see what's here while I'm doing this. And if you have questions about it, just let me know in the comments and perhaps in another video, I could take a look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go save and exit and we're just gonna go straight down to the boot override. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up Fedora. So we'll go ahead and do that and let's see what happens. So it looks like it's booting up. We have our Bazite logo and Steam OS and we're in. So our controllers are working perfectly fine, which is great. So let's check out uh, what else is going on here. One thing that I immediately noticed though is that we don't actually have any audio. So let's see if we can adjust that. Uh, go to the settings and let's check out what options we have here. So we have two. And unfortunately, neither one has audio. So there's uh, some compatibility issues there that shouldn't be a problem to sort out, I don't think, once they get the, once the team actually gets a hold of this device. All right, so the game's booted up and let's see how it runs. Uh, of course, I'm not plugged in right now, so this is just gonna be on battery mode, which should cap at, I would say like 50, what is it, 55 watts, 50 watts. Uh, for our settings, I'm just gonna go with uh, 1200p and let's go with uh, FSR 3 and we'll put that to auto uh, no frame generation and and we'll turn off ray tracing just to make sure that that's not interfering so let's give it a test here see how it runs all right looks like we're playing and everything seems to be doing not too bad um, <clears throat> excuse me with these settings it seems to be running at like 50 fps uh, I would have to test on Windows to see if that's lining up with what I'd be expecting, but I mean, it's, it's not bad considering we're not uh, using any kind of frame generation. Uh, it just really depends on how strong the FSR is. And looking at the screen, like it looks kind of minimal. It's a pretty sharp image here. Um, yeah, so it's working for Cyberpunk, so that's good news. We'll uh, see if we can get some Bluetooth audio uh, paired up to this because I'm not sure if the Bluetooth driver is gonna be working or not. Uh, the Wi-Fi is working. I did connect to the network uh, when I was off screen here. So let's go ahead and quit the game. And let's see if I can pair up a pair of uh, Bluetooth headphones. So if we go to our Bluetooth menu here, I'll grab my set of headphones. Okay, so I've got it in pairing mode. And here we are, so we've got open fits. So I'm gonna put on the headset and I'm gonna see if there's audio, I'll let you know. Yep, we've got audio now. So there's like, you're obviously not gonna hear it through the, in the video, but uh, you know, with my earbuds, I can hear the audio. So it looks like if you're wanting to use audio before they optimize it, like you're just gonna have to use a pair of uh, headphones. Uh, you can always do wired too, like there is a wired port here on the left. But yeah, it looks like it's working for Bazite uh, with some caveats, like we can't open up the menu. If you really wanted to get to that, like what we could do is we could exit and go to desktop and we should be able to open up handheld daemons so that we can take a look at the TDP settings. I doubt that there's gonna be a slider, uh, but let's take a peek anyway. Oops, wrong one, so let's open up here. And I think in all applications, we should be able to find handheld daemon. And for those that don't know, that's basically 
uh, another menu that Bazite has so you can adjust things. So for our TDP right now, we just have our power profile and there's a custom scheduler, but I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't played with that. Anyway, we'll disable that for now for controller settings. It's a little bit limited here, but uh, you do have some of the basics. General settings, we have, um, yeah, you can basically the same settings here, like disabling the touchscreen. I'm not gonna try that because I don't wanna get stuck in here. Uh, you could update shortcuts, but uh, I'm not sure if the if it's recognizing the Xbox button, so we may not be able to customize these at this time. Taking a look at the settings here, uh, yeah, it's just your basic. You can choose a theme. So if I do like blood orange, now we have like a one X player style menu, which is kind of cool. But yeah, it looks like uh, we can at least get in here and we can always boot up stuff, boot up games and whatever else from the desktop mode. So for the audio driver, if you're good with uh, Linux and figuring that out, like let me know in the comments what the fix would be if you if you have any. I have a little bit of familiarity with Linux, but not enough to confidently say that I could figure that out. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. It was just a really quick test of Bazite. And um, let me know in the comments if Bazite is something that you're planning to run on this, or if that's something that you know, you're gonna leave alone and stay with Windows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.